And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Ezreal Rush. That's right, we are going to be playing a new KDA card for the very first time in this spicy donation deck that we have from Tali Zoo. We're going to have a deck that's uh, built around 12 mana, Feel the Rush. We're going to actually play two different Feel the Rush decks today. We're going to try this one out, this spicy one, and then we got um, a very traditional Trundle, Aurelian Soul, Feel the Rush ramp deck. All right, but this card, if you haven't seen this K KDA card yet, it's 12 mana, slow speed. Summon two different random champions from your hand and deck. Raise their stats up to 10 10. All right, so we're going to get. Um, it's kind of like War Mother's Call. It's a 12 mana, slow speed spell. You get a random champion, though, from your deck, not just any unit. And, and you also change its stats, make it a 10 10. So what the goal is with us is we're going to have two different champions because that's what it does. It puts two champions into play and they're going to be Teemo and Ezreal. So <clears throat> Feel the Rush will make both Teemo and Ezreal 10-10s instead of being a 1-1 and a 1-3. And why it's important to have these two is that they are both elusive. And so we're going to be putting two 10 power elusives into play. And so if they don't have an elusive blocker, that can be 20 damage right there. So that's going to be our combo. Um, besides that, we're going to be an Ezreal control deck. Not really focused on puff caps or t you know Teemo with puff caps, but really focused on Ezreal. Um, so as, as you can see, you know, like we have a lot of ways to interact with our opponent's units so that we can target them uh, 10 plus time to level up Ezreal. We got our ramp in here, Weirding Stones, Catalyst of Aeons. Uh, so we're going to be doing that as well. And then, you know, a bunch of Frostbite in here to stay alive. So there we go. That's that's what we got for our deck. Let's see how this this works out. Uh, this this one should be pretty fun. Let's try out this brand new card. All right, Tom Kent, so Raka. So they're a slower deck. They don't block elusives too well usually. So maybe that combination will work out for us. We'll keep Thermogenic Beam, Mystic Shot, Ezreal. Those all seem reasonable to keep. This is something like where where we, like you know we woke at like the champion spell for Mystic Shot for, with Ezreal. We may need to cast that, shuffle it back in to make sure that we have the champions that we can grab with Field of Rush. That's a little ways away. We got Von Yip hanging out with us, meowing a bunch. I think, I think that that uh, question, what's the best deck for climbing in Diamond Elo, it's is a different. I think the answer to that question is a different answer for everybody. I think that uh, everybody plays different decks better or worse. There isn't any singular deck that you need to play to ramp up. You can you can play whatever you want to play. All right, so I can kill one of these two. Which one do I want to kill? I guess Tom Kench. Yeah, I guess Tom Kench. Oh no, I can't kill one. I I was thinking. Never mind. I can't I kill one. Stuff, I don't know why I was thinking that I could Mystic Shot cool. and then have four mana left for Thermogenic Beam, but that's not the case. See, like damaging their units like this. Like the reason to damage their units, um, like damaging their units helps helps them out, so that's bad. But of course, the reason to target is to level up Ezreal, which is good. So I decided just to play the ramp card, gets us to six mana for Thermogenic Beam here. Time for a true display of skill. There's always 
fighting it Pons Pablo. All right. By starlight. Oh, you wish to live with purpose. That's unfortunate. It's a great box to post. Gets them four towards the star spring. I thought you'd never ask. Table for one, if you oblige. Hi, is uh, dinner on you then? Gotcha. I want to cast the Ezreal's Mystic Shot and uh, put that back into my deck. So the reason, you know, Pill Cascade obviously was the, the card that I wanted to see the least, but the reason to play both of these at the same time was because of Guiding Touch, to keep, keep Guiding Touch from being able to save their box to puss. Um, the Pill Cascade, of course, is our worst case scenario. Should have stayed home, pal. Take heart. By the power of the stars. I'm just going to be letting this happen. I'm just casting the Static Shock basically to draw and help level up Ezreal. But they'll be, they would be able to eat Ezreal anyway with the Acquired Taste. Yeah, like we, d we definitely need to have a, a Field of... Yeah, we definitely need to go towards Field of Rush. This is going to be two Ezreals down. We, we did shuffle the other one back into the deck purposely for Field of Rush. But of course I need to find Field of Rush. And so basically I'm not... I'm not planning on playing Ice Veil Archer. I'm not really planning on playing other any other units besides you know getting towards the ten tens for Feel the Rush. Because I don't want to I don't want to damage their things. Um, so I'm I'm saving the Frostbite cards to be able to protect my life total. That's what I'm doing here. Is I'm saving Frostbite for that. That's that second Tom Kench. Hurt quite a bit because like the the box to put like I whenever I played my second Ezreal I feel pretty bad you know like with them had the second Tom Kench and that definitely punished me. Live with purpose. And then obviously the pill cascade also very bad. Feel the Rush is a 12 mana spell that puts two of our champions from our deck into play. We got three of them in here. It's the thing about this this Tom Kench Soraka deck that's underrated is the amount of card draw they have is is pretty awesome each like whenever i play against this i'm always like man they're five extra cards into their deck than i am like they they really do draw a bunch of cards yeah we gotta hope for no hush which pretty unlikely with the amount of cards they've drawn Our deck may need a little more card draw. What's up, Jess? Good morning. We currently have a Static Shock that can draw a card. Oh, we have Rum. We have two Rummage. Rummage wouldn't be bad either. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Take Well, it can't be as bad as that first game. 
there's there's no way it can be that bad again, right? I think all we need are all we want to see are ramp and feel the rush. Looks like our deck definitely needs more card draw. Ramp, card draw, feel the rush are the only three things that I want. That is um, three, six, nine. 10, 11, 14. So there's 14 cards that would qualify as um, ramp, card draw, or feel the rush. So a third of the deck. We saw zero in our first four. Mulligan, still zero. That number probably needs to bump up from 14 though because if you think about it like against war mothers that's that's all you really want against like war mothers also and like this kind of matchup like basically anything that's not aggressive units all you want are ramp card draw and feel the rush so it looks like 14 is not going to be enough of those cards it would be nice if they don't have star spring Okay, no Star Spring. That that is nice. I don't know, Teemo. No. If we pass and try to Thermogenic Beam a Soraka. Basically, guiding, both Guiding Touch and Pill Cascade make Mystic Shot really bad. I can't use Thermogenic Beam on just that thing. Like the great outdoors. Guess we're playing Teemo. I don't know, do I play Ice Fill Archer? And attack with Ice Fill Archer also, I guess. Nothing else to do. Winter, take you. Hey, Silent Air, good morning. Never know what hit him. Yeah, we're playing two Field of Rush decks today. Had a lot of demands for those. Hopefully no more Tom Kench. You don't have to draw multiple Tom Kench opponent. You don't have to. Time for a true display of skill. I never use I'm mystic shotting their Nexus. We're just going. Very slow, elusive aggro. And really hoping no more Tom Kench. Slippery. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Especially if they have Pale Cascade, that was smart leading leading with the Bastion. Like they could have gone Pale Cascade to try to kill Ezreal, but if they, wow, that was so that was really smart leading with the Bastion specifically against Troll Chant. Because you'd think you would just play the Pale Cascade, but then Troll Chant would have saved it through Bastion. So that was um, that was quite a play against. Um, These pill cascades have just been unreal. Two games, my opponents cast four Pale Cascades, and they've all been completely devastating. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Pill Cascade the best card draw spell in the game. Adventure starts 
Well, maybe. You know, two mana draw a card, but then also getting that um, effect for combat and everything. It's it's quite amazing. It's a big responsibility to Shepherd Stars. Sorry, like I was saying last game, they do draw a lot of cards in this deck, and so that's good as far as um, you know, damaging them with with uh, puff caps. Um, yeah, it's it's possible. Tail Cascade's the best, you know, spell in the game, not not champion, you know, spell. That's possible. That certainly is. The possibilities are infinite. Where does your path lead, Billy? Wherever it goes, I hope it brings me back to you. I'm not afraid! Just a wee bit late. So the Soraka is going to keep drawing more cards. Draw more puff caps. Thank you. Good. No, no hushes. They already used their one hush. At least they've used a hush. All right, yeah, draw another Zenith Blade, please. Four? All right, two. Thank you for drawing that Zenith Blade. GG's. Good job, Teemo. Ooh, this is scary. But hopefully all of our Frostbite and removal comes in quite handy against all these scary things. Um, am I keeping Brittle Steel? Yeah. I think Brittle Steel works well with Ice Veil Archer. Like, Ice Veil Archer blocks something, then we Brittle Steel it. Lots of Mystic Shots. Don't have the extra mana to cast Mystic Shot this turn, but I think it's still worth playing Ezreal. Yeah, lots of Mystic Shots. You already got four? You're only allowed three in a deck. Okay, so we had to get rid of one. We had too many. Oh. All right. Pass, pass. Maybe no attacks? No attacks, pass to me. Darn. I'll protect the villages. Alright, we're gonna block that. You're block between there. me and glory. And we will Mystic Shot. This one. Oh, pretty good. I'll take that. Sure! All right, Cordek, I'll change that. Let's see. 
think we just, yeah, let's just pass priority for now. Let's see what they do. Okay, I'm gonna do this and this. So we're taking four. You block here. My life for Amorosa. You block Obstacle, here. Me gauntlet. And then I'm shooting the arachnoid horror. I mean, I guess I might as well. I might as well shoot the four too. Taking seven down to five. Down to five. That's... Sounds dangerous. Doesn't feel like the best place to be. Firing. <laughs> Check me. <out. laughs> Sorry, Mohammed. Yeah, just thinking. Uh, supposedly we have three Field of Rush in the deck. We haven't drawn one yet in the three games. Yeah, supposedly there's three of them in here. Oh, there we go. I had to complain. Wow, they had two Puff Caps on that 29th card. So next turn... I'm one mana short. If I just... I don't know, didn't play like the team or something earlier. Next turn we'll have that. We're at four. No, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Pass back to me. Yuck. We're gonna win the next turn. We're gonna get two 10 10s and cast Feel the Rush for the first time. This could be a pretty interesting matchup. Karma and Thresh. Okay, this is our first time starting with a Weirding Stones. I know, when Terra said it should be, you know, it's an 80% chance the Trundle decks have a ramp spell on turn three. We have the two ramp spells in our deck. This is our fourth game and our first time seeing either one. And we get to feel the rush early, so I'm gonna try to keep on ramping into this. This is going to be something where if my opponent denies the feel the rush, it'll probably be really bad for us. And they should be playing plenty of denies. We'll probably just wait on that. Let's just ramp. Yeah, they waste all their mana because all their they just have all the interaction. So like our things are just gonna die. I should have played the Ice Fill Archer. Think about it, but I don't really want another unit out there. I don't really want another thing out there dying for this Thrash. Alright, so we're pretty close. One more turn. No deny, no deny, no deny. 
Yeah, no deny. First time playing that card. Okay. So they grab the Teemo from my hand. Not a Teemo from the deck. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Don't blink, or you miss me. We must make our own path. Oh, I didn't. I thought I pulled both the Ezra, the Mystic shots back. Alright, that works. So, of course, I, I cast the Ezreal Mystic Shot, so it would get shuffled back into the deck. So, I want to play Field of Rush again, but then if they have another, you know, then they can just Ruination again, and then that's kind of bad for me. They have nine cards in hand. So now they have 10. So they kind of have to play something or not. Karma. Ah, Concussive Palm. Want to just load up, let me get to 10 cards also? Both have 10 cards. Return to us. Heart and mind as one. Boo. Alright, we got two 10 tens. What? Still hard. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't do that on the one two. But I guess they have, like, four damage worth of stuff. Okay, well that seems ridiculous. Just all five five damage to all my stuff. I could level up Ezreal right now, going like Ice Veil Archer Flash Freeze, like before they could respond. We got out KDA to this game. I'm so good, I surprised myself. You cute go. Gotcha. Charge. It's going to be a lot more difficult for them to kill me without karma. Mm. Cuz like whether they're at so like they would have been at at 1 if I would have done the the 2 damage to them. 
And them being at one or them being at three makes no difference. Yeah, yeah so like... You know, them at one, them at three is no, no different. I did not think that we were winning that. Did they just had nothing to kill my Ezreal, I guess? That was crazy. They had nothing to kill Ezreal. Alright, so now we're playing against the Undying, I think? Frostbite could be good against the Undying. Mystic Shot doesn't seem as good. Um, we actually have Rum and should be able to go search for stuff. So we'll keep, we'll keep the Mystic Shot just in case. And if we don't need Mystic Shot, we can rummage it away. But obviously we like ramp. We want to ramp. That egg. Did it move? No, I don't think you'd have an elusive deck with Shadow Isles. I mean, well, like they could have. Am I playing you, Teemo? I guess so. Yeah, they could have like Green Green Glade Duo and stuff if they're like, you know, going ephemerals and and then they could have Green Glade Duo and Silent Shadow Seer if they're going Ephemeral. Meestraith. Winter take you. Meestraith. My life for Avarosa. <laughs> yep, you want his mist rates, you gotta. True display of skill. I never use my goggles either. Find them, cast them. <laughs> Rut row. Big Crocolith. So if I go Harsh Winds, that's the only thing I can do this turn. So then I'm taking seven. We could kill the croc with the thermogenic beam, but then I don't get any free mystic shot value. We could kill the croc there. Let's see, we're at 4 out of 10 with Ezreal. Long ways away still. Drawing those puff caps. Ah, I was right. The Undying. Kill it seven seven. Okay, so we got another Teemo, so we can block with this Teemo. Most anti-control 
Shadow Isles cards, <laughs> right? It's like the hardest things to possibly kill and deal with. So they got, they just got a, a mix of all of those kind of things. Um, yeah, I guess so. Don't get to double up those puff caps anymore. Yeah, maybe I should have rummaged for Troll Chance. Alright, I guess we just discard Catalyst of Aeons anyway. Seven. Firing. Oh. Wish I wouldn't cast that Mystic Shot now. I did... Ooh, they missed. I cast the Troll Chant. Um, or I cast the Mystic Shot cause j just to use some mana so I didn't waste so much mana. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Now, obviously, obviously, I wish I didn't. Six. I'm at six. You're between me and glory. So to keep Ezra alive, this is the only thing I can do. All right, maybe we draw uh, Feel the Rush. We haven't seen that card yet. Yeah. Called it. There we go. Get a couple 10-10s. Ten <laughs> and there we go, GG's. Teemo Ezreal Rush with the win. That was a great top tech. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, they had Ionia for their for their other region, so having Ionia for the other region makes you think that they're playing Deny, right? Like that's like the reason to play Ionia, I guess, is to play Deny. Uh, good thing they didn't have Deny. Think of how sad that would have been if they would have denied that field of rush. So there we go. Winning record in Masters rank with our Teemo Ezreal Frostbite deck. Can't complain about that, especially our first game looked really bad. <laughs> but then after that, um, you know, finishing out with three and one after that, that's pretty decent. So, yeah, there we go. I, I did want like some more card draw in here. That was like the thing that that seemed like that we were lacking a little bit of. So maybe we don't need three Harsh Winds and three Flash Freeze and three Brittle Steel, you know, and three Ice Veil Archer. <laughs> you know, like it did seem like that we could have some of those be some card draw. Um, in these regions, we don't have the best card draw. We're basically looking at like progress day, kind of being our our uh, option. I think I would do that. Is play some progress day, even rummage. I don't know. Rummage didn't seem like you know we have to discard two to draw two, but if we're trying to stay alive, we don't really have the cards to discard. Yeah, we had a warm up game that first one. You could play you could play ice or you could play um, Avaros and Sentry instead of Ice Veil Archer. That's definitely an option. That that gets you the card draw more. Ice Veil Archer is a better blocker and better, you know, as far as getting a target for Ezreal. But Ice Veil Archer does get you that extra card, so that could be important. I I like the ramp. I think the ramp's necessary. I think the ramp was good for us. I like the ramp. I think I would I would add in just like two progress days here over the third flash freeze. I think having harsh wind, I think you can have two flash freeze with the, having the harsh winds, the brittle steel, keep those. And then I, I would just play one rummage. So basically I'm just kind of switching my card draw up a little bit. I think I'd only want one rummage and two progress day. If you want to get rid of one of the three brittle steels instead of the third flash freeze, you know, and go, go this route instead, I, I wouldn't complain. If you want to go that route instead and keep all three flash freeze and go down to two brittle steel, 
Flash Freeze. Flash Freeze is going to be more useful in a wider variety of matchups. I think I'll play two progress days in here. And I'm not sure. Play play some more games and see which one you want to get rid of the Brittle Seal or the Flash Freeze. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Feel the Rush, any of the other KDA cards or you know this deck. Anything like that. I always love seeing those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Timo Ezreal Rush, and I'll see you for the next video.